Welcome back again, my wonderful community. In today's video, we are going to be seeing how to address those challenges I earlier stated in my last video. We have talked about some of the basic causes of bitmatching errors that a lot of people face. So, to address this problem, I'm going to be taking the points one after the other as the video progresses. However, in this very particular video, we are going to be seeing how to address this problem using hot queue. That is the first part you need to know. So, in addressing hot queue, that is set queue point, you first need to understand the entire structure of the song because you are not going to be dropping the incoming track anyhow. You are going to look at points where there are no so much instrument or too much sound or too much vocal. Just like this very one that is playing, you can see the sound is clean. So the incoming track too, I'm going to carry a track that is having a very clean startup too. In order to fuse it, that is look for a point and then fuse them together to flow. Where one is going off and the other is coming up. So in this particular scenario now, I want to introduce you to, for those who have gone through the parameters uh, training or especially during your service year as you graduate through the university you agree with me that when people go for parade they are usually arranged in a particular manner and including their heights and other features in order to ensure that everything moves smoothly this is to ensure that as they are moving their steps the steps are flowing together some people are not over rushing and some people are not under rushing so that is the same thing that is also applicable when it comes to beat matching so look take a look at this you now see that there are different parts of this track based on the wave you can see look at it you can see how the wave is transitioning it means if i want to transition with this track using bit matching i can i can start from the beginning here then maybe pick somewhere around here but i cannot use this particular point because at this very point there are a lot of sounds involved in this particular track or i can decide to set cue point where i can skip when I'm playing it, maybe I want the mix to be short. I can set different different cue points on the wave, then skip it to this very end, then flow it, then bring this second track just as you saw from the intro of the video at this very end where there are no more sound. Possibly it could be majorly instrumental. Then I will now drop it on it. So that is what I'm actually talking about. I'm going to move it to the end now. I'm going to play it to get to see. Look at it. So you can see so even at the end now see that there are some extra level of sound that might really destroy it so you need to study each song to know how to fuse in the incoming track so that is why i talked about it and for you to be able to move around the track means you are going to be setting cue point you set cue point at the beginning using your control one that is for the first cue point as you are seeing here go to the next point maybe any point of your own choice here I pick another point but you are not going to be doing it you must first you also look at the aspect of counting beat because this will also guide you all this is i'm going to be explaining the one after the other however we are going to be looking at majority the cue points here so i'm going to start this very track again from the beginning you get to see it again let's say for example i'm going to be starting with the deck 2 because i've already said the cue point at the beginning here look at it Mes chers amis, mes chers amis, mes chers amis, mes chers amis. So you can see how everything went smoothly from this particular one I just did. So that is what the essence of the cue point will do for you. It ensures that you start the song in a particular point that flows with the track that you are playing with. So you are not just setting the cue point randomly. Identify the first beat, set it. Identify another first beat of the 8 or of the 16 or of the 32. Then you continue to set it that way. So thank you for being there. I believe you learned something in this very particular video. Catch you in my next video once again.